pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of Beer Mail here on BAOS. Uh, it is a hot as fuck muggy night in June, uh, so what better than to crack a brand new dry hop sour from our good mates at Side Launch up there in Collingwood, Ontario. Um, so Side Launch brewed this bad boy last year at Brew Pub only, and they decided, you know what? It's fire. Let's package it for the people. So we're going to crack this open, but rather than just review the beer, I figured, you know what, guys? Let's have a chat. We'll have a bit of a talk. So Tiff sent me an article today. Oh, it smells great. And it was about uh, Canadians believing it's okay to take beers that aren't yours at parties. And they did like a survey of people. And the majority of Canadians felt it was okay to do so. Um, now, that was something, of course that as craft beer nerds that would bother us um so i figured i want to have a little chat about how i feel about that and i want to know how you guys feel about that tiff here is your beer thank you thank you very cheers. much cheers get it in there so just to confirm it's called side lunch dry hop sour it is 4.2 percent perfect for weather like this i am thirsty as hell it is i'm sweating it is uh beautiful nice and opaque not that much of a nose a little bit Oh yeah, that's great. Uh, I think it had mosaic, citra, and Eldorado. Fruity, crushable, slight malt backbone, tart, tart, wow. Sour and a little bit tart. Tangy. It's fantastic. I love it. So, let's have a quick chat. Beer at parties. People taking your beer at parties. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys, now depending on where you are in the craft beer world, uh, if you go to a party or a barbecue or something like that, and I, I thought this was extra relevant because it's the summer and this is what we're going to be doing, um, you bring your own beer. It's important, right? Now, depending on the type of uh, event, like maybe it might be one of those ones where it's like, hey, everyone just bring a whole bunch of stuff and chuck it in the in the bath and there's a, like ice in there and everyone just grabs whatever. Cool. I mean, that's one thing, but I feel like that's something that should be set up front. Otherwise, if they say B-O-A-O-B, that means bring your own beer means your own. So when I go to a party, uh, I bring my own shit. Um, for this reason alone, I... I don't want like I don't mean to be like be like a tight ass, but I don't trust people to take my good shit, and they're always drunk people who don't really know like what they'd be stealing or what they'd be drinking. So it seems it's like a waste on all parts. So I bring my le uh, my less fire stuff, my stuff that maybe I've got as crushes, but it's still craft. Maybe some basic pills and there's also just stuff I've had in the fridge that I've had before or whatever, so I don't have to do the reviews and I can just talk to people and drink. Um, so. Basically, a lot of people were saying that it's okay if you say bring a six pack of, you know, macro lager, like what the example they gave someone brings their PBR old Milwaukee, and then they go and see some raspberry sour in the tub. I'm like, fuck yeah, whereas that one bottle costs more than that whole six pack. Um, and people think seem to think it's okay. And the, and the one place that said it was okay the most was Quebec, funnily enough. God damn you, Quebec. And uh, so basically, our, so our friend Rich, who you might know from the videos, uh, he has a lot of parties at his crib. He loves it. He's about that life. So that's the main place I go to when there's like a house party or event of, so of sorts. So often he he does, always says BYOB. Usually he will go and pick up a case or a 12 pack or 15 mixer pack of like Unibrew or something like that. And he's always like completely generous and you know handing them bad boys out if need be. Often when I go to the fridge, I went one year, I was last year I think, uh, I brought my stuff and I just kind of stick it in the fridge and I usually bring two or three, not like a ton. And I was, uh, I, I was just hoping people wouldn't touch it because they didn't bring it. It's not sitting in a box with a whole bunch of the same one. So if it was just one off, why would somebody think it's okay to go take that? Right? Right? Do you agree? If you agree or either if you agree or disagree, please comment below and let me know. I don't know if I can sound like a tight ass or like a fucking, what's it called? Like a, like a hoarder trying to keep my shit to myself because it's not the case. You don't think so? I don't think you sound like a hoarder. I think um, it's also a price thing. You have to understand. There's just more expensive beers. Yeah. So to be left with like cores, to be left with Molson Canadians. Yeah, example, right. After somebody has like, after you came and brought like six dollar beers, imagine bringing Bellwoods. Yeah. And you pay ten dollars <laughs> a beer. And then you do pay seven dollars a six yeah. pack. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so it's not being a tight ass. It's just also value. You have to yeah. Consider that. That's a really good point. So it's definitely a value thing. 
and I was chilling. I think I only brought maybe three cans at this event. Maybe it was like a light, like an early Christmas party. And I saw this dude walk by holding my can. It was a common good brown ale, which I have a few of. So I was like, all right, I remember bringing this specifically. And it's an obvious can because it's a silver bullet can with a small ring at the top. So I was like, I saw this dude walking by with that. I was like, yo, bro, like, yo, that's, man, sorry, man, that's my shit. Like, I brought that specifically, like, it's from Ontario, whatever. He said, oh, oh, and he kind of looked at me like I was the crazy one because I unfortunately did it in front of people. I didn't mean to, but he was walking past me. And he went and put that shit back. And then not long after, I quickly went and grabbed my beer and finished it off. Um, and after that, I was, every time I go to Rich's parties now, um, and this is kind of what I want to talk about. Ways that you can hide your beer. So way one, to hide your craft beer at a party. What I did uh, last party was I wrapped it in like a plastic bag. I think I only brought three, actually no, I brought some good stuff. I brought some like Brass Review Black Canada Duff, specifically for Richard. So as soon as I got that, I was like, bro, come here please. We're splitting this and we cracked it open immediately because I didn't trust motherfuckers to take my shit. And this was $7 cans that came from Ottawa and they were really hard to get in the depth. So we cracked that beer straight away. Now what I did with the rest of the beers, I wrapped them in that plastic bag and stuffed them right at the back of the fridge. Um, that way, and I also I didn't leave the kitchen for the whole party. I was like, fuck that, I'm not taking the risk. And um, I stayed near the beers and there was no problem. Every time anyone went in the fridge, particularly if they were a drunk motherfucker, I watched them and I, I, I kind of side-eyed them and just watched and watched what they got out of there and it was good. Because there was like a case of Coronas or some shit in there that people were kind of just grabbing at and some other stuff, so they were distracted. Um, so another way, a second way in the same vein, I was considering putting that plastic bag in the vegetable crisper, but that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's gonna be out of the way. No right? way to live there. You gotta do that shit, right? So that's the second way. If you can do that, if you go into a, a bachelor's house, like a dude, like a single male, he's unlikely to have a full vegetable crisp, particularly if they're in their twenties. So think about that. Uh, third way um, is to be that guy or girl and have your own cooler. And I've read stories about it. I haven't really seen it before. And I feel like that's more like if you're going to be going to a barbecue and you know there's a set, you're going to be there for eight hours drinking. Like, you have that little personalized cooler, you know, like that big type of shit. And, you know, you have your own little stickers on it or something so everyone knows it's yours and they don't fuck with it. I'm actually considering getting one. Just, I don't know, if we go to the park and have some drinks, right now we have a little backpack, but it's not that good. But I'd be like, to get one of those and you just bring it to a party and then it doesn't leave your side. No one touches it, always safe. That's a good one. Uh, fourth way, Richard told us today, funnily enough, because I said we sent him the article, um, he said he puts his beers in the dryer. So he goes to the crib, and he'll probably have it in some sort of bag and chuck it in, in the laundry room in the dryer. Genius. Uh, I like that a lot. Only downside, if they decide to do laundry, you fucked. And two downside, if uh, they won't say cold. Like, it'd have to be pretty chill, and you have to be willing to take that L on the uh, crisp and coldness of your beer. Uh, for the safety of the beer, it's tough one. Uh, and the fifth way I was thinking, you could bring like, uh, in Australia we call them uh, um, stubby holder. This is a Carlton Draft, a trash beer, but I keep it for, uh, what's the word? Lols? For lols. <laughs> for old time's sake, because we drank this a lot back in the day. Nostalgia. Nostalgia, thank you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a little stubby, I think you guys, what do you call it, like a koozie or something? I have no idea. I don't know. So you can bring those. Now, if you're going to say bring two beers to a party, you just come to a party, bam, bam, and you have them with it. This kind of keeps it a little cold, but you'll be keeping it out, but you have them in your hands the whole time or at least next to you. Uh, once again, you are going to look like a tight ass. You're going to look a little strange. Um, and I don't really want you to walk around carrying them the whole time because that's inconvenient. Um, I guess the last way, like you said, the cooler bag. We've got the cooler bag backpack. Now, unfortunately for us, it's something I got free with a case of Heineken like a decade ago and I brought it with me to Canada. So it's this big Heineken bag and I'm a craft beer guy and I don't like being seen walking around with a goddamn Heineken bag. Um, so there's a good solid six ways to hide your beer at a party and it's a uh, pretty standard way. So I want to hear what you guys think uh, that you, you guys do at a party or barbecue and how you keep your craft beer away from people or are you cool with it? Are you cool to go and drop whatever, a whole bunch of money on a six pack, whether it's the same beer or whether it's like something, a mixer and chuck it in a bath or a chuck it in the fridge and let anybody have a go when everyone else has just brought basic macro lagers. So let us know what you think. Uh, side lunch, fantastic. Beer is great. 
refreshing. I love it. I'm satisfied. Get it in you. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, smash the thumbs up, hit subscribe below, and hit the notification bell so you know when we've got the new new popping. Uh, follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast and check out the long form audio uh, everywhere you get your talking media, Apple Podcasts specifically. Hit subscribe and rate uh, and review that if you can as well. Thank you to everyone who's been doing that. That is it, y'all. We'll see you in the next video, and as always, get in here.